Hello everybody, Aegis Pro here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys the top 10 best mods for Minecraft 1.7.10 in 2020. These are going to be some of the best mods for Minecraft 1.7.10 in 2020. So if this video helps you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Link to the mods in the description. Let's go ahead and take a look at number 10. At number 10 on the list, we have the auto switch mod. So what this mod does is it will switch the appropriate tool to your hand so that when you're breaking something with the wrong tool, it will switch over to the right tool. So this works on every single kind of thing. So you see we're going down here. We have stone. We start to break the stone and it'll switch over to the pickaxe. Uh, be careful with the block physics mod. Very helpful mod if you aren't too good with sorting stuff and if you have a messy hotbar. So that was number 10 on our list. Auto switch. Let's go ahead and take a look at number 9. At number 9 on our list we have the buff tools mod. Now what this mod does is that when you craft something. Hello. Anyway, what this mod does is it makes it so that when you craft something, you have a chance of getting a different kind of tool. So you might have to craft more than one kind of thing. So here we have an annoying diamond sword with 20% damage down and 15% speed. So it's a lot slower when you're clicking. Here we have a cracky stone pickaxe, 20% durability down. And we have a large diamond axe with more speed. So this works on every single tool that you can craft, you just gotta hold it in your hand first, and then it tells you what it does. Once again, works on every single kind of tool you can craft. We have a shameful stone hoe. Um, yeah, you, you, you really don't want to get this, these bad enchantments. So you might want to make sure that you have an abundant amount of diamonds, because you might need to craft more than one tool if you get a bad perk. So that was number 9 on our list, buff tools, let's go ahead and take a look at number 8. At number 8 in our list, we have Block Physics. Now, as you saw earlier, Block Physics is a little bit of an annoying mod, but it does add gravity to the game. So, say you're digging something out, uh, the blocks are going to be affected by gravity. So, it's a little bit more realistic, um, a lot more annoying, because you can't really dig straight down, but you shouldn't have been doing that in the first place. And when you come up the trees, it kind of just knocks the whole thing down. Yeah, you still get your blocks, though, so... It might be more helpful with trees, but it did push that log into the ground. You might want to be careful with that too. So with water, you just break it and you know the water, it's not really going to change anything. But when you go down, the blocks are still going to be affected. So it might be a little bit more helpful when you're trying to make underwater more realistic. So that was number eight on our list, block physics. Let's go ahead and take a look at number seven. At number seven on our list, we have Mo Benz. Now, as you can see right now, I, uh, I have a new character animation and it looks pretty cool. So what MoBenz does is it adds in new animations for characters and mobs in the game. So as you can see when I'm running here I do have a new animation. And when I jump I also get a new animation. It looks more realistic. When I fly I uh... Well I have this kind of... I don't know how to explain it. it looks weird though. Now some other mobs also have new animations like zombies. They have new animations. So let's see I go into game mode 0 here. And you can see that it has a new animation. When it tries to hit me, it will put its arms out and it will try to get me. But it's on fire right now because it's, uh, sun's out. Spiders also have new animations. They have legs now. Definitely makes them look more creepy. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. So I guess it can make Minecraft more scary. I don't know, I don't know. This guy doesn't want to hurt me anymore. That's weird. Yep, Mo Benz adds more animation to the game. Makes the game look better. That was number seven on our list. Let's go ahead and take a look at number six. At number six on our list, we have WTF's Exploration Mod. Now what this mod does is it updates caves. Uh, an update that is much needed for Minecraft, except this time it is in version 1.7.10. So as you can see, it can add things like redstone stalagmites, uh, stone stalagmite. Wait, this is a slag tight. Yeah, I could just confused. Uh, vines and stuff like that. You can come down here. You can see we have some stone lava crust, and there's just a lot more detail. You see, we have lava pits. We have a bunch of stuff down here. We just, caves just make more sense now, and they have a lot more detail, and they're going to be a little bit more fun to explore. So that was number six on our list. WTF exploration. Let's go ahead and take a look at number five. At number five on our list, we have the Elemental Creepers mod. Now what this mod does is it adds in a whole bunch of new creepers to the game. So here we have a fire creeper. Now when this creeper walks, I'm pretty sure it leaves a trail of fire behind it. Here we have a water creeper who I think does the same thing. We have an electric creeper, a big bad creeper. Now this is a ginormous creeper. Don't mess with this one. We have a wind creeper, a friendly creeper, a solar creeper, a magma creeper, and a reverse creeper. Now, I'm going to go ahead and you can see the fire creeper is leaving a trail behind it. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go into zero and we're gonna get killed very easily. Uh, that is a very fast creeper. Uh, they're all out to kill me, I'll tell you that. So when the <laughs> when the fire <laughs> when the fire creeper explodes, it uh, spawns in a bunch of lava around you. Be wary of that. I don't know what I'm doing right now, but that was number five in our list, elemental creepers. Let's go ahead and take a look at number four. At number four on our list, we have the better dungeons mod. Now, what this mod does is, wow, it adds in a bunch of new structures to your game. For example, here we have the castle. Now, this is basically a better dungeon and it's full of new mobs. So here we have skeletons with swords, and then there's a whole bunch of zombies. Uh, we gotta find a different entrance. If I can even get away from them. So anyway, if we go into here, you can see that there is tons of detail in here. We have different rooms, like here's the library. These guys are sitting down. You have a blacksmith room, and you have your stairwell. Now, each of these rooms, they have a different mob spawner in them. So you're gonna be really, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna be really geared and have lots of chance if you're ready to, uh, face all these guys because there is a ton of them you might even need another mod with armor in it because there is a lot of things in here so that was number four on our list better dungeons mod let's go ahead and take a look at number three have you ever wanted to make your sad wooden house into a boat well with archimedes ships you can do that so just hop inside of your sad wooden house click on the helm and hit assemble ship it will assemble your ship Hit mount ship and you can now drive around your uh, wooden house. Just make sure you're in the water. Uh, I gotta dock this thing first. There we go, you're now in the water. So our sad wooden house is now a boat. We can hop outside of it and we can see that our sad wooden house is indeed in the water and it actually doesn't look like it's floating too well. It might be sinking. So this mod is really cool because you make anything you want into a boat. You can also make it into an air balloon and I think there's other things I believe. Oh god it has momentum. No it's gonna crash. No. But once you do this you cannot undo it so make sure that you're happy with your boat and house first before you start moving it around because you're not gonna be able to undo it. So here we have a little sailboat that I threw together in like three minutes. Run over here, place down the helm, hit assemble ship, and, um, this is now a, uh, boat. So, go over here, mount ship, and yes, I am driving a sailboat. So this mod is very cool. This is actually a little bit slow. I don't know if we can make this faster at all. Or it's just gonna, oh. Oh, that's not, that's not good. Uh, I don't know what caused that. I think it's because it was in the water. But make sure you don't. You don't sink your sailboat. That would be bad. So that was number three in our list, Archimedes Ships. Let's go ahead and take a look at number two. At number two in our list, we have a mod that doesn't really change anything for the game. It's more of a performance mod, and it is called Optifine. Now, what Optifine does is, well, if you've ever watched a YouTuber, they can probably do this. And if you've ever wondered how they do that, well, there is a mod called Optifine that does that for you. For me, I have it bind to see. So say I want to look at the castle. Boom, I can zoom in on it. Now, for number one on the list, it's a little bit of a laggy mod, so you might want to install Optifine if you want to run the mod, which you'll see here in a little bit. Optifine doesn't just add a zoom, it also adds in a whole bunch more customization options for your uh, game. So I have my render distance down a lot because reasons. Um, but you can see you can change performance settings, you can change these settings. I mean, it gives you a whole bunch of options. Like you can have shaders, uh, well, I have something, I have a setting wrong, I can't see anything. Trust me, the shaders work, I just have a weird setting, I don't know, it does that to me sometimes. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, lots more customization options. And of course, the best thing, the zoom key. So that was number two on our list, Optifine, let's go ahead and take a look at number one on our list. And number one on our list for the top ten mods for Minecraft 1.7.10 in 2020, we have the Twilight Forest mod. Now, the Twilight Forest mod adds in a whole new dimension to the game. So what you're going to want to do to get there is you're going to surround a 2x2 two two area of water with flowers and then throw a diamond in there. And a lightning strike will happen and you're going to get yourself a portal. So jump into the portal. It's going to take a little bit to load because essentially you are loading a new world. And we have arrived in the Twilight Forest. So as you can see here, this is a whole new area. And like I said, you might want to get Optifine for this because I'm running... 40 frames and I usually run about a hundred which still isn't too impressive But as you can see Twilight Forest adds in deer it has some rabbits 
and there's a whole bunch of biomes in here so you can see we have some of these new trees here we have lightning bugs and we have just regular trees see there's a lot more foliage and it's just more detailed than the overworld and what you can do is you can walk around here and you're gonna try to find yourself some bosses now right here we have a very big tree over here we have a structure that spawns here and this is the naga place uh this guy will spawn here and when you kill him you will get some of his scales to get some of uh, armor which is pretty good armor you can see here it's just the whole boss arena uh this guy is a little bit tough to fight so you might want to get geared up first but he is just one of the bosses that you can find inside of the twilight forest over here we have a, another biome this looks like a uh looks like a pretty cool biome actually if you just dig down here it's a pretty thick forest yeah you don't want to get lost in here wow it is very dark in here too okay definitely don't come in here if you're not prepared because this is like i'm thinking about the korox wood in breath of the wild from zelda that's what i'm thinking about right now like you don't want to go in there unless you're prepared uh and to break out the top you're gonna have to go through a few layers of leaves but you get a pretty flat area if you want to build up here uh probably wouldn't look the best but you know whatever so that was number one on our list of twilight forest these mods were the top 10 mods for minecraft 1.7.10 and I'm filming this in July of 2020. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will be on Wednesday. Goodbye.